Hey guys, thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. Here today we're gonna do a brown smoky eye look with an exaggerated wing. So if you wanna learn how to do this look, sis, stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you always know when I post. But let's get into it. Okay, so starting off, we're gonna prime our eyes and I'm using the P. Louise Base in Rumor 5. And I'm just applying that with a flat shader brush. Now before I get too far, I just needed to put some chapstick on because my lips were cracking and dry and I was too embarrassed. So yeah, now let's get back into it. And now I'm just blending out that base with a Morphe 173 brush. I love this brush, it's perfect for blending out bases. eyeshadow look is going to be a Juvia's Place eyeshadow look. I'm going in with the palette Zulu and I'm going to use that brown shade. I'm going to put that on my lid with a MAC 217 brush. Next, I'm going in with the Nubian 2 palette, and I'm going in with Kenya on a similar brush. It's not a MAC 217, but it's a Morphe brush. Um, I'm going to put all of my brush descriptions and all of the products that I use in the description box. Let me know what you guys use to blend out your shadows, whether they are the compact brushes or if they're fluffy brushes like mine. the Saharan palette and I'm using Katsina to cut my crease usually I would cut my crease with the same base that I use as my primer but I wanted to make this a bit easier and beginner friendly because not everybody has that precision to work with bases and thick primers like that so you're welcome just going over that Katsina with the first brown shade that I used from the Zulu palette just to give it a proper transition because I hate having that jarring white color and then it's like browns so I'm just going over with the shades in the succession that I put them on my lid So back to the Nubian 2 palette, we're gonna go in with the shade Zuri 
and it's a really pretty shimmer shade now before i pop that on my eye like poppington i'm going to spray it with some setting spray so it can really pop 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 you know what i mean i know y'all know what i mean but if you don't know what i mean you're welcome for putting you on okay sis Okay, I know y'all mad. I know, I know y'all thought y'all were gonna see that liner, but baby, I tried to record it and it was garbage juice. So I went ahead and spared you and me the embarrassment and I popped them on and now I'm just throwing on some mascara before I pop on my lashes. And I hope y'all don't be mad at me with that too because I'm also not showing that on camera because that was also a big garbage juice failure. Okay, so for primer, I am going to use the Pixi by Petra setting spray. It's the makeup fixing setting spray, and I'm spraying it on before my makeup because you can do that. It says so on the bottle, and it gives you a really nice like finish, but I'm just gonna let that dry a little bit, get a little tacky, and then I'm going to try this new method that I got. I got this idea from Chrissy MUA on Instagram. She used the Mac, I think it's the painterly pot or paint pot or whatever. She used it on her client to get rid of smile lines. And if you know me personally, you know that I love to smile and laugh and I just wanted to try it out. So that same base that I used on my eyes, I just put it on my smile lines and here I am just throwing on some concealer on my soon to be visible mustache, my crazy dark circles, and some acne spots that I've been getting from eating too much burgers. Okay, so after I've blended that out, I'm gonna set it with some air spun. But I'm only gonna set my smile lines because them things go really, really deep. I don't know if I'm just like a really happy person or, or what. But anyway, so I'm just setting that with some setting powder. This one is the translucent powder. And then I'm gonna go in with my foundation, which is the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I am in the shade 47W. I think that stands for warm. But I'm just applying that with a foundation brush from Real Techniques. I was hesitant to say that because I didn't know if that was the right brush and I still don't know. Ha, huh, JK, this is the foundation brush. I don't know what type of brush that was, but it was a brush from Real Techniques. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and blend up my foundation. Um, this brush is honestly a game changer for me. I was using their sponges, Real Technique sponges, and um, the foundation brush from Fenty, which is also pretty bomb, but um, I, I'm loving this brush, and I got it from Walmart. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply my contour, my cream contour from Black Opal. This is the shade Suede Mocha, and y'all already know the, y'all know the thing, y'all know the routine.
So here I am just applying those same shadows that I applied up top. So that first brown shade from the Zulu palette and then the shade Kenya from the Nubian 2 palette. So that's just to give it more of a smoked out look. And then I just aligned my waterline with the Jumbo NYX pencil in, I think it's Noir. And yeah, girl. It, my, my sinus always acts up when I do that, so. And then I'm just setting my face with the same setting spray that I use to prime my face. And girl, honestly, like if y'all don't know about Pixie by Petra, y'all need to get with it. Actually, don't get with it because y'all might buy it out and then I won't be able to get any anymore. JK, JK, JK. I'm here for you guys. Totally get it, totally get it, I'm joking. <laughs> Okay, girl so we are done this look is finished and of course I'm gonna finish it with a gloss because I'm a gloss girl y'all let me know if y'all are gloss girls or matte lipstick girls I used to be a matte lipstick girl but I saw the light and y'all should too but this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope y'all enjoyed my voiceover and my code switching it's kind of inevitable at this point it happens I can't stop it but um I really enjoyed doing this video uh, as y'all can see I was dancing and all that you know having fun but if you really like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share this with your friends turn on that notification bell and you can follow me on Instagram as well for more looks so I will see you guys later peace I love you guys bye